I'm gonna check okay. the We built a four channel oscilloscope on the FPGA. Uh, so it uses the onboard uh, um, ADC, which is 500 <laughs> kilohertz. Um, so divided by four channels, we're getting slightly above 100 kilohertz each channel. Um, so we're going to do four channels as well as a math channel. Uh, is, that, is that the red channel there? The red, right chan the red channel is the math channel. Right now it's subtracting channel two from channel zero. Uh, channel zero. Oh, channel zero from channel two. Uh, so. Okay, and, and you have annotation on here that's, that's drawn by the HPS. Yeah, so on the bottom we have the uh, time scale per div as well as the volt scale per div uh, for each channel. And that can be changed for and then, any channel. And then the triggering mode up there. And what triggering modes do you have? We have uh, rising edge, falling edge, as well as uh, for pulse widths greater than or less than a pulse width or also equal to pulse width. Um, and the trigger threshold can be adjusted from uh, the console as well as uh, the width. So the FPGA is drawing all the waveforms. And, and the HPS is drawing the, the annotation and handling the, the sequencing. Yeah. And if we look down here at the hardware, you have an Arduino, which is just being a signal generator, is that right? Yeah, yeah. that's just generating the square waves. Square waves. And then the, the DE1 SOC is, is doing all the heavy lifting here. Yeah. Well, show me a different sample rate. So this is twice the sample rate of before, okay. and the not triggered ones are now. And you can change which channel it's triggering on. It's not triggered on the blue channel. Uh huh. Or not the purple channel. Uh huh. Okay, purple channel. Yeah. All right. So, and we're seeing at the and, and the position control is how the uh, traces. We, we don't have horizontal <coughs> control, but we can do. <coughs> I see. So you're, you're moving it up and down through the through the uh, console interface of the of yeah. the HPS. Okay. So the HPS is doing all of the, the 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 positioning, but but the way that's actually working is to handle hand off the position to the FPGA, which then draws the traces. There's just a large number of configuration registers in the FPGA that the HPS modifies to self have. Okay. Very cool. Anything else you want to show me? Thank mm -hmm. you.